Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, Assalamu alaikum everyone. Uh, in this video, I will tell you how to uh, convert uh, your files into a Gerber file for fabrication. And uh, I will use this HFSS software. Uh, it, it exports a DXF file, and that uh, that file will be imported into this uh, ADS uh, for further conversion into H uh, Gerber file. So let's begin. This is a file having the top and the bottom uh, fabrication so it will just scatter for your uh, both layered and first of all just remove this uh, air box uh, if you have it uh, then click on this uh, copper so this is the bottom layer so I have to just to have to select all the bottom layers and uh, then click on modeler and then export uh, go to desktop this is my folder import so this I will name it as the bottom bottom part okay bottom uh, layer okay uh, so that will be the bottom layer part uh, that's done so now click on this top layer and click on modeler uh, click on export the same uh, top layer uh, you can see this file is already there so top layer uh, in DXA format uh, and click on this for the board line uh, outline uh, export on this and you can say outline so the same so now our task in that this is done so I don't want to save it so now uh, ADS will be opened uh, a new workspace mm, click on this layout so then I will uh, import it Click on uh, click the required format that is DXF. So first of all, I will just uh, the bottom layer. I will I will import the bottom layer first. Click on options and just this is important because if you just don't do this, then your fabrication will not be uh, correct. And this changes to millimeter as my design was in millimeter, so change it accordingly. Accordingly. Click on OK. So now we have this uh, bottom layer part. Uh, what I can do is that click on this view uh, and click on this docking window, click on properties windows. Uh, the layers are already uh, already stated. If they are not being displayed, they click on docking window and this uh, this layer window. Okay, like if just they are not here, so just click on them. So now uh, let's begin. So. Uh, what you have to do is that you have to create another layer uh, that is a uh, layer definition and uh, add layer so it is the bottom layer so don't just you know, click on bottom layer okay so bottom layer uh, is this name and it will be a conductor layer and it will be bounded to itself so bottom layer is bound to itself apply now we have created it is its structure is like this so uh, select this all uh, and just click on this uh, properties and click on this bottom layer I don't know why it is being not being shown well but click on this and now yes you can see clear bottom layer click OK so it has been shifted uh, to it uh, click on this uh, okay just hide everything else and click on this layer too uh, I don't know why it's not picked a minute. Okay, so select this one and uh, actually it is being done, so that is not a problem for now. So I can just it all. I can just simply export it now. Uh, click on this, uh, unselect everything, click on this, just this, and then export it export it browse uh, for the uh, will just like for the bottom but first of all just can change this format into Gerber drill uh, desktop and more options just select into millimeter for precision it should be increase it 
because my design involve up to three decimal points uh digit digits like that's good for it and uh it depends on your machine smallest bit also so design and select accordingly and that's it millimeter okay so jabber drill text top okay so that's done so one of the part is done now then uh cut this file and just put it here uh i would just want to tell birds so it is here please okay click on this uh, again and now we have will import the other the top and the bottom uh, the top and the substrate or the outline layer so top layer first the same method meter just check them because if any stage you just do wrong then it will be problem for you top layer okay so it's done uh, but let's see where it is uh, this is so the same method uh, first we have to create a layer so that will be from our tools uh, op option technology layers add layer fit so this is the new one so now i will say top like i will just want to say top layer in a small and as like the bottom layer it should also be uh, bounded to itself so okay so we have it colored like this okay it will differentiate it so click on this and uh, uh where the properties so properties is window is not here so i will just make it visible it is here so i don't know why okay now it's here so open it like here and just make it more visible click on this and just select the top layer okay so in this way you have shifted it into other part uh hide everything else uh click on this top layer and uh click on this if you want click on export and gerber drill and browse click on desktop uh more options like the previous time just always double check because these are one time things and mistakes will cause you damage so now the the easiest part is uh left you click on this any layout click on import uh, and select the outline part uh so just like this uh okay so for this you don't need to create any other thing uh, but yes for this you just have to create a layer and layer definition and add layer uh, okay uh so it this it will the new layer will name like this uh so i will say outline the small and it should be a bounding area and it will not be bounded it itself or any other thing so click on apply uh the color is like this so i would just like to color it a bit brighter uh yeah like yellow okay so just have to manually make it so click on this uh polygon uh it's a polyline yes for you not so polygon no it's a purely line and uh, click on this so it will just automatically when i come to near to this we just snap to this thing so it's like a it's like a snapped uh toggle vertex snap mode so it's very useful uh, click on there one time another one another one another one and another one escape so it's done but it's not visible because it's not everything height is like it's visible now so first of all just disable everything and one one to outline click on this outline and click on this and delete it okay this is a important step otherwise your uh, outline will not be correct so now as it's been deleted click on this outline and uh, export it and the same place desktop uh also where are you export wherever you are exporting there should not be any other gerber file uh so it will not replace it just uh, export any your file and then just copy it to somewhere else so when you are whenever you are exporting every time like new so either do it in the other place or just copy that that file into other place so that place should not have any other file uh, click on okay oh that's done uh, no so this outline file is also done uh, now just i just want to verify this thing so i have this uh, two uh, circuit cam 
uh, softwares which uh, these fabrication setups use and if it is not that circuit cam then it, it, any other software like this and it's actually use uh, I just do the verification of the file before hand uh, before submitting it so it does not waste my time uh, just we will just one by one we will just import the files the gerber files uh, first of all I will just import the out uh, the outline okay and I open it's a layer it's a board outline so seems good to me so that's it but then I will import uh, the bottom layer so select this uh, bottom layer import good that's good because it's coming inside so import the another one the top layer and for that the top part should be selected so in this way it's a good one in this way I have verified this uh, design and they will do the job uh, this they will do the, the other fabrication part on this and and that is up to the fabrication staff or the faculty there who will just uh, uh, do this uh, stuff. So this is how you create uh, you convert a DXF file to a Gerber file uh, and uh, then verify it. You have used three softwares uh, the ADS, the HFSS and uh, the circuit cam. So thank you. Have a nice day.